Good afternoon, and welcome once again to my daily chat. This is episode number 656, 656, and the topic today is the power of presence, how women can feel safe in a relationship. I'm going to make that, I mean, the title alone is self-explanatory, but I'm going to break it down more in case you don't know what I mean. But before I do that, let me, let me introduce myself so you know who I am and what I'm about and why I'm doing these talks. So hi, my name is Barry Selby, in case you hadn't figured that out already, and I am a best-selling author, inspirational speaker, and relationship attraction expert. And I help strong, successful women, and all sorts of women, frankly, create balance in love, life, and business. And I do this because I'm a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which also inspired these talks over two years ago called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring a Feminine Heart. That's what the actual title is, in case you're wondering what the MFTM stands for. So I do this every day, and today we're episode number 656, and the topic today, as I mentioned, is um, the power of presence, how how women can feel safe in a relationship. I think so I said it. Anyway, I'll explain what I mean so you know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't seen me on broadcast before, I do these on Facebook Live first, then go there on YouTube. So if you're watching on YouTube, I'll attempt to repeat any questions, comments that happen on the screen whilst I'm doing the live broadcast, and then uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. So this is my daily chat on Facebook Live. So if you want to catch me live, I'm here at 5 p.m. Pacific time every day, <laughs> except tomorrow and Friday. I'll tell you about those in a minute. But before I go any further, let me jump into the topic. Thanks for being here. And if you find the subject useful to you, feel free to add any questions, comments below. If you want to share this with any of your friends or any groups, feel free to do the same thing. Um, sorry, feel free to share it out. That's what I should have said. <laughs> Just being clear. So let me speak about this presence thing. This is something I learned um, in 2007, and it's changed my life and changed the life of everybody around me that I interact with on this format, because the old paradigm, which is, I talked about yesterday, I think it's, a, yeah, I just talked about yesterday, about the old competitive, combative, challenging way that men and women were dating. Part of the problem is that most men have not learned how to stand in their truth as masculine-hearted, present men and i'll break that up more explanatory in a second and, and what i'm trying to explain here in a short video is at least the full weekends of immersive training i went through and i did it about five times so this is not something i'm going to give out to give you the like here's how you do it one two three it's more about the para i'm giving you the cliff notes to explain this and give you some insight so that ladies if you're watching this to know what you're looking for and men if you're watching this how you can help be more present to attract a healthy relationship for yourself too everybody wins that's the plan anyway. So, ladies, let me just speak to you this point, from this point of view. You've probably experienced the following types of men in the past when you've been dating them. And I did mention some of these yesterday, but I may have a few more today. Um, and I was one or two of these, and, I want, and you can guess which ones I was. <laughs> I'm not going to tell, tell you. I'm not going to expose myself that way. Um, <laughs> so the sort of men that you may have dated in the past, and may still be dating, are either gung-ho go-getters, getting things done, taking charge, running the show, and basically want you to be behind them or to be sort of at home taking care of stuff whilst they're out doing stuff in the world. They're kind of the new version of the breadwinner from the old days, the old days, my parents' generation. But there's also a sense of they feel threatened if you stand up next to them. And I know some of the women are going, oh, they know that one really well. So those two, those things are the kind of the key elements of the um, driven machismo ego-driven man that wants to get the things done, goal-oriented, getting it done. Now, that's part of the masculine but behavior, but it's not fully functional, as you can tell, because it doesn't let you become equal. It's actually making you secondary, ladies. The other extreme of that, okay, self-exposure, that was the way I was, the secondary type, so just so you know, <laughs> was the man who was basically along for the ride, because a lot of you ladies, as I said yesterday, have been out getting things done, driven, passionate, also successful in the world, competing with the men in some ways. But the men you would date weren't like the men I was talking about just now. They were more the beta, nice, um, complacent men. At least that's the way I was. Okay, I outed myself. But that's one of the function, or one of the dysfunctions of this is that when ladies, when you're in a strong, powerful place, especially when you're being masculine, not your feminine, which I talked about yesterday, you're actually out of alignment with your power and center, your natural power center, which means when you're out in relationships, the sort of men you attract aren't aligned either. Switching back to the men's side for a second, because what I'm also aware of when men are actually in the place of bringing their presence and that um, consciousness with them, it almost, 
long. I'm just saying it doesn't require or force it, but it also creates a space that is so strong it's almost seductive for women to step into their feminine. And I don't mean any other way. That was being very clear how I meant that. So when a man is in his masculine, in his full presence, first of all, men, when you're watching this, presence means that basically what you do, <laughs> as weird as it sounds, is almost nothing. Not the other one, which is the complacent, lazy sort of one I've just mentioned, but you're actually a place where you hold such a straight a space, because it's an intentional space you're holding, that is a place of safety. And one of the ways one of my friends, um, Brian, puts it, he, he said the three words that a woman would love to hear from a man is, I got this. And I think it's a really great phrase. Hi, Nancy. Nice to see you in my broadcast. Not in the group, but in my own personal space. So for men, when you're, in your, when you're bringing the presence, and it's that sense of you can take care of everything. You don't have to do anything, but the energy is there where you can. It creates this sense of safety for most women that a lot of women aren't even used to. Because as I mentioned, a lot of women are tied to the got to do it themselves, and they're fighting for their right to hold space, and they're fighting for equality. And I understand the drive. I just wrote an article today, in fact, that this is actually the 100th year anniversary when women had the right to vote in this country. 100 years, that's what it's been. Just to think about that for a second. So for a lot of women, the paradigm is still one of having to fight to compete to be recognized as equal versus simply being equal automatically. And that's a discrepancy that we're, I'm part of the conversation about changing that to make it automatic versus have to fight for it. So in this context of relationship where a, woman, where a man steps into his presence and stays present powerfully so, it allows a woman to basically like, relax her shoulders, to relax her energy, to breathe deeply, to become present in her own way so that she can be relaxed and in absolute um, flow back into a feminine presence. Now, a feminine being, excuse me. See, one of the things about this, this framework, which I said I, took, I learned back in 2007, was a game changer for me because when I realized how, to, how it worked for me and how it worked for everybody, because in the room it was a powerful group of people, when I stood in my own presence with the women who were there as well and with other men besides me doing the same thing, it was a, um, tangible is not the word, it's any more powerful than that, it was a visceral feeling of alignment. All the men who were on one side of the room stood in presence, we've been practicing this for a few days and getting really grounded in this place, and the women in the other side of the room who've been working in a separate space on their feminine um, flow and embodiment and energetics, when they came forward, first of all, it was really hard to stay present because it was so seductive. The women's energy was amazing too in their feminine. But what the women were doing was responding to the presence the men brought. And it really was a place where they felt so safe they could express their full nature. And men, if you haven't experienced a woman expressing a full nature this way, you've missed out. There's such an incredible, as I said, when I talked to a friend about it on Sunday about this, how when I was in my presence with women around me, when they were in their feminine, I almost wanted to drop to my knees in worship and appreciation because when women are in their feminine, it's like the healing agent that we didn't, that we didn't know we were missing. There's such a magic, majesty, and I mean, I really can't put words on it. So I guess you can get, I hope you get from my feeling what I'm trying to express here is the power and the magnificence of masculine presence with feminine energetic. It's a, it's a union and it's also a respect that is beyond what we normally practice. And it's also absolutely what creates safety for women. Because when a man's in his presence, there's a part of him where it's really clearly, there's kind of, there's one of the things that shows up energetically is like, do no harm. Because when a man's in his ego, there's uncertainty there and frankly women don't trust men that way as much because there's a threat because they don't know it's safe enough or not but when a man is in his masculine presence authentically connected to that deep place inside she knows it and so does he and it creates a really incredible space of safety of comfort and of strength that also is extremely um, inspiring and trustworthy for a woman to be around it's not about physical strength. That's the other thing, by the way. I saw some men being in the masculine experience, I mean, just in these workshops, who weren't bodybuilders, they weren't big tough guys. One of them was in a wheelchair, one of them was um, with a walking with a cane, like physically challenged. But the presence they brought was not a physical thing. It was energetic. And that's the secret, by the way. So any men watching this who might feel, well, I'm not like tough enough. I mean, I'm, I don't, I'm not a big bodybuilder. I mean, I'm average in terms of build. But the presence is not about your physical structure. 
It's about the energy you bring in your beingness. And yes, it is largely tied to the heart, I believe. But it's also tied, as I, metaphorically speaking, to the spine. Because what it does when, when a man is in his presence, it's almost like he's actually being supported by the energy of the masculine presence, which is almost um, aligning energetically. So it, for me, it was one of those things where I felt myself standing differently energetically. It wasn't like I was standing like tough or strong. I felt myself just standing more grounded, more aligned up and down from spirit to ground. And that is kind of my own personal experience explaining it. But again, just to make the point clear for the 17th time, when women are around men who are in their true presence, the feeling of safety is automatic. There's nothing to be said, you don't have to prove anything. And for men it's so much easier. That's the funny part about this for men, when you do live in your presence and you bring this masculine self forward, it's actually one of the easiest things you, easiest things you can do because it's very trustworthy and it's also very authentic. And that's one of the things I'm passionate about is being authentic. So to say that really clearly, the more that we men stand in our presence, our masculine presence, let me be clear about that, the more that it creates safety for the women to be honored, respected and appreciated in their feminine, so that feminine energy can come forward more easily and women automatically are looked upon as equals and respected as equals. And that is kind of my um, manifesto in a way. So I hope this made sense to you. This is one of the things I talk about. And one thing I want to put out as a PS on this, a large part of this work that really was a fundamental for me at the beginning was to learn how to be taking care of myself and loving myself first because it's hard for men to be in their masculine, it's hard for women to be in their feminine when they don't love themselves. And I'm going to say this bluntly because men, we need to express love too to ourselves. As much as that may sound like a soft thing, one of the most powerful things men can do to be in the masculine is to be vulnerable. And when we love ourselves, that's much easier, again, safer for us, and more authentic to express. And women love that truth, just so you know. So what I'm putting, going to put links in the comments, because um, I always do. I'm going to put a link in the comments for my self-love practice because this is a visceral piece of the work is to own your own love for yourself, to really honor and respect who you are and to align to your authentic nature. Because when you do that, as I mentioned earlier, if you're a man and you're masculine or a woman and you're feminine, the level of ease and the level of respect and the level of acceptance is greatly increased. So men, if you want to make women, if you want to help women feel safe, Learn how to be more masculine, be more right to your truth, and love yourself as well. And by the way, self-love is another thing it works for. When, you're so, when you love yourself fully, you're not hungry at taking somebody else's love. That's also a thing that makes a woman feel safe. And same the truth for the ladies, by the way. When you love yourself, you don't come across as hungry or needy to men, which means they won't run away. <laughs> so self-love is a very useful tool. That's why I'm going to put the link in. There. That's why I created the practice. It's a guided meditation, two audios, and a workbook that I think will, well, I know they change people's lives. 30 day practice that will change your relationship with yourself and your relationship to the world. So that link will be in the comments. And um, I'll put a link in the comments for the discovery session if you're looking for more help in the area of love and relationships, because I am making room in my coaching schedule for a couple of more clients. And uh, I think that's going to keep you busy for a while. So again, masculine presence, feminine flow, the, the, the interaction of the two is really what makes the world go around and it's time we actually brought that both energies present for all of us and for all our sakes. So if you have any thoughts or questions about this, please put them below. I wanna, I'd love to interact more in dialogue and what's, going, what's happening here or what's happening here, I'm trying to say that more clearly. Um, again, if you want to share this with anybody, please do so. And if you are feeling like you want to learn how to do this more, um, reach out. I have some people I can refer you to. That I, I don't teach the direct stuff myself. I have people who I deeply respect to do it way better than I do. I'm, a, I'm just a, hum, a humble student of theirs around the masculine and feminine piece. So um, with that, I thank you for watching. I will be, oh, I need to give you replays first. Well, before I do that, I'll let you know that my um, talk tomorrow will be at a different time. I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna be at an all day networking and, and mastermind group all day tomorrow. So I may be doing it earlier or later, I'm not sure yet which. So I'll keep posting on Facebook, let you know. Excuse me. Um, and also I'm going to be booked on Friday, but I'll tell you about that later on. So join me tomorrow at some point in time for my daily Facebook Live. And replay so you can find me if you're watching this for the first time. Um, it goes live on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby. The replays go onto my business page, which is barryselby.author. And then it goes onto YouTube, which is Barry Selby. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can go to Messages for the Masculine is the playlist where these all live. 
Um, I think that's it. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below and I'll respond when I sign off. And again, if you have any thoughts, you want to share this with anybody else, please do so. And with that, I will see you tomorrow for episode 657. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet. It'll be interesting. I know tomorrow's going to be a full day as it is. It may be giving me some good content. So um, that's it. I appreciate you watching. Hope this has made some sense to you. And with that, I will see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.